friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Arsalan Bhai with us. He has lot of experience with part time job. So I thought making a video with him, you will able to find a part time job at the end of this video. So let's start. So hello Bhaiya, how are you? Hello, thank you. Thank you for having me here. It's really a pleasure to share my thoughts and whatever your question is and to guide other people. Can you explain your experience? Yeah, sure. So I came in Germany in 2015, mm -hmm. and uh, I came here for masters, doing masters, and I did my masters mm -hmm. in civil engineering from Tübingen, mm -hmm. which is a city in the east part of Germany. Mm -hmm. And after completion of my master degree, I started working here mm -hmm. in R&D. Um, yeah, it's kindly related to building materials, which is also a part of civil engineering. So I'm working now. So it's like uh, five years now since I'm in Germany because it's a long time. yeah, recently I completed in October first, my five years, half of decade of my life in Germany. Yeah. So that's how I end up here. And uh, uh, before uh, coming here in Germany, mm -hmm. I was uh, working in LNT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I was campus placed after my civil engineering, mm -hmm. bachelor in civil engineering, I was campus placed in Basel and And I was working in Middle East there, in India and Middle East both I worked with LNT. And there I realized need to have a master degree. So the thing with the bachelor degree is that your knowledge is limited and to prosper in any kind of field i would highly recommend nowadays to do a masters because bachelor is becoming very common as of say like 10 years back or 20 years back if one go diploma was very common so everyone was doing bachelor so that's that is how things are so at that moment i decided to do masters so i had multiple thoughts where to do it so better to go back to India and do from IIT or mm -hmm. to first do gate and then do from IIT or go to US Europe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But since Germany is known for engineering, so you know, yeah. and, and it's, the, um, it's, it's the land of Marvel engineering and so I thought it's, it's the best place to do. Mm -hmm. Plus, to be honest with you, if you go in the US and you know, other English speaking countries, you have to pay a hefty amount of fee here. In Germany, education is free. Mm -hmm. You don't need to pay, so mm -hmm. you just need to support yourself, mm -hmm. and you don't need to pay. So that that is also quite a bit advantage. And plus, mm -hmm. you get um, a job search visa mm -hmm. of eighteen months here. Mm -hmm. So that that was also a thing which favored my decision to come here in Germany. Mm -hmm. And then I applied in different universities, so a lot of selections in many, and finally chose this program, which is related to what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Of this structural engineering, it's, it's a part of civil engineering. So that, and here the good thing which I um, encountered here in my masters that in addition to the civil engineering, which is a very conventional kind of branch, mm -hmm. so civil engineering plus they have a lot of stress over programming and computers kind of thing. So with computer plus civil engineering, so that was my whole program. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to, uh, so in my master thesis and project work, I both, uh, I took a very innovative kind of field, which is like 3D concrete printing, I worked on it. And after my degree completion, I took a job in a similar field. So I'm working now more than one and a half year. Wow. Yeah. So very soon I'll complete two years here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a long time, so like half five years is it. So that's that's the entire journey yeah, of my that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, is it easy to get a job in Germany? Well, that depends, you know. That depends because uh, the reply could not be a blanket reply that one can say it's easy to get a job. Mm -hmm. But I will say that if you come to Germany, eventually you will get a job. You know why? Because in certain field, of course, it's quite easy. Like in IT and CES computer, if you're working, if you have a degree or experience back in India, also you can get a job. But in certain field, a strong German language is required. So that makes things difficult. You know? But if 
if you come here, if you learn German, yeah. then of course you will ace yeah. uh, job interview and able to get a job. So the thing which is most important is language, language German course. language. So getting job is okay, one can find, but you have to be able to speak at least B1 level of German. That's that's very important to get job. So that that's the key in my opinion yeah. and, and in my experience also. How long does it take to find a job in Germany? It takes a time. It takes time. Why it takes a time? Because uh, normally in India, if, if, if we, we are from India, so yeah. I will talk about the Indian perspective. So in India, generally they call a lot of uh, interviews, a lot of candidates for the interview mm -hmm. and then they filter out. Yeah. You know, so if you go in an interview, there's a long line of people coming yeah. for interview and then they will filter out. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work in Germany. Mm -hmm. So they first filter you out in the resume itself. Yeah, you know? yeah so that's, that's the filter. And they take time. So once you apply, mm -hmm. you may get reply for some job like after one month, two months, three months. That depends, you know. Even in some cases I've heard that after six months they get the reply. Six months? Yeah, so eventually are you free or are you still looking for job kind of thing. Because they may have called someone who have declined over the period of okay. time or someone they have fired mm -hmm. during this time of uh, probation period which mm -hmm. is called Kobzite in Germany. So you, you have to be patient. At the end of the day you have to be patient to get a job. It's not like you will apply and they will be called right away for an interview because okay. they will analyze your resume. Mm -hmm. They will filter you out and then they will so that is a positive also that once you get an interview call, there are high chances of getting that job yeah. because they might have considered you very well mm -hmm. for this particular job. Oh. That's quite different That's, from India. Yeah, and, and if you do masters, then if so, you will have one and a half or mm -hmm. one and a half year of time mm -hmm. for searching for. That's quite a lot of time, so you don't need to bother about it. How can a student find a part-time job in Germany? That again comes down to the language mm -hmm. so if you are in a big city mm -hmm. you will have a if you are a, if you have good German skill you don't need to bother about part time you will surely get it okay. yeah. German language is main key main key mm -hmm. is the main key if you don't have German language you don't need to worry that okay I will not end up with part time job I have to pay myself it's also a thing that okay so in big cities it's easy comparatively with the smaller cities to get a job part-time job without language also, without general language. But in a small city, it's quite difficult. Big cities like? Big cities like Berlin, Munich, Stuttgart, okay. you know, these Munich kind of cities. Like so Frankfurt mm -hmm. and all this. Um, so in part-time, there are two types of jobs. Mm -hmm. Actually three types. So one is like you're working in a university itself, if you're a student. Mm -hmm. The second type, if you, you work in your same technical field mm -hmm. in a company, like a student job. So if you are a civil engineer, you can work in some civil engineering company as a part-time. Okay. And there's a third job which is called a German Neben job. That, yeah. That's like the odd jobs. Okay. So in odd jobs, what happens? You do some odd things. Like where not much of a skill is required. It's an unskilled job. Like if you can work in a restaurant, mm -hmm. you can work in some factory, mm -hmm. that kind of a thing. Not studying related. Not studying, so that is the third mm -hmm. Mostly the, those people who don't have German skills are not able to get job at the university. Mm -hmm. So they do this third kind of but job. Which why is they don't get any job in university? Or? So in universities also like there is a 50 students. So like professor will ask only those students to come and work with him, who him or her who has good grades in the sense. Yeah. So not everyone gets good grades yes. because they will want the best of all the lot. Yeah. So that's the thing. So like let's say five gets a student job or 10 gets a student, still 40 is there. Mm -hmm. So that, that is a thing. Yeah. And also some people like to do both because in, in, in university also if they offer you a contract, they will offer you let's say 15 hour week or 20 hour week but you still have a time. This is third kind of a job and uh, in the, when you don't have a German skill, mm -hmm. 
and you do your odd jobs like nibin jobs mm -hmm. you have to work in some like restaurant then you will work in the back side of the restaurant you, you will not work in the counter or as a waiter or waitress because you don't have a skill mm -hmm. so you will work in the back kitchen area so mm -hmm. in some factories that's that that's a thing one can get and um, so and and also you can improve your german along the way and eventually you will get also a good german yeah. The most common job in Germany, most common, like people used to get easily. So, in, in which a student job, part time job? Part time job. Restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah. It's too much easy to get a job? Yeah, it's kind of because they need. Don't need any German mm -hmm. language or something. As I said, as I said before, that if you have German skill, you will work on the front desk, mm -hmm. like in the camp counter, taking orders, like, you know, mm -hmm. or as a waiter, waitress. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have German skill, you will work at the back end. Okay. So that is like in kitchen, mm -hmm. you know, helping chef, chef, and all this. This is even job. Uh, they also have some tax advantage with the both. Who wants to do job and the employer also for both. Okay. So they they they, yeah. they can give you a job. So it's not a very difficult to find a job. Mm -hmm. So and in fact, most of the students who come here at first they do restaurant job, and when they improve the German, as I said, it's in restaurant or it's in factories. It's many without a skill German. A comfortable job for all students or overall all over. Easy to find, easy to but work. of course not easy to work because okay. of course you you yeah, have to work. Are, what are the required documents for apply in type of job in Germany? Hmm. So then from India, you you just first need to have a visa, German mm -hmm. work visa. So there's a thing which is called job search visa. Mm -hmm. One can get, one can apply for in from the embassy and. If it fits in their parameter, they will grant you a German visa. Mm -hmm. In that case, if you want to come in German jobs visa, you must have good language knowledge and good German language knowledge because you don't want to waste your time. And when mm -hmm. you come here and you don't have German skill, it's a waste of time. Um, so once you have a visa, and then same with the students also who passed their masters or did some graduation, I mean, they also have to get go through the same process okay. must be, be happy. There is no difference from apply from India or from China? Uh, so applying from India is, is quite difficult to get a job unless until you are from IT segment. Okay. So if you are sitting in India, if you are working in some company back in India and if you are not from IT sector, it's difficult to get a job in India. But if you're in IT sector, you have a good, very, very good resume. Company may call you. Okay. Yeah. But why this is so difficult to get a job from India? Because if you look from the company perspective, mm -hmm. they first look for a local candidate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then they will look for a candidate who is German degree. Mm -hmm. Then they will look for a candidate who is already in German, as such in job search visa getting. And then they will take, if they could not find someone of that as well, then they will take it, uh, a stress of bringing some yeah. guy from outside country and arranging visa and all this. Yeah, long one has to go from all the process because visa and all these mm -hmm. things are involved. So everyone wants to be in a you know, comfortable position. Yeah. So that, sure. that is the thing. Yeah. But what happens in IT, mm -hmm. since India is good in IT, and so there could be a chance that some very experienced or some very skilled people. They are looking for, it's not able to find here, so they might look for people from India. Yeah. So you can end up with a job here in Germany if you're in IT. Otherwise, in my experience, it's just difficult you know, to get a job from Germany. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Unless until the company in India itself deputy. So in some cases, you know, it's they, they, they send the employees for an off-site work for like one year, two years. That's a completely different case. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perspective, but if you end up here in Germany as a student and you passed your master's or bachelor's or you were uh, you got a job such as and if you come here and then getting job mostly depends on language skill. A. B is the how you make your resume and cover it because as I said in the beginning that they filter out the candidate at the very first stage which is the resume and the cover letter. So that's how you apply. Yeah. 
and it's very important here. It's not like India because in India they call everyone and then they take interview and then they filter out. Here they filter you out at the very first level of the application, which is the resume and the code. So that is very important to get. So most important is the resume and, and cover letter. letter. Yeah. And cover letter and resume should not be copy paste. It should be directly from your experience written in your uh, skill how you sit and that's that's also important here that the cover letters should not should be unique to that job position what what does i mean is that what is the requirement of the job they will list your requirements that i want to have this this, this qualifications like point a point b point c and you have to write like kind of a reply to that qualifications in your resume a cover letter that okay, so you I have this and this and this. So that if they re read and they say okay, I ask this 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 questions. But if someone has can apply and this guy's in his cover letter applied with this this question. Okay. And the resume should be short. Mm -hmm. It should not be wide. Ideally one page. If you have a lot of things to say, stress it to two. That's the maximum because over that they don't care. And also try to include the keywords which they are asking because mm -hmm. sometimes there is software also they can. Yeah. To put so that's important also in Germany they may ask you to have a certificates or whatever you are writing. So suppose you write you have a, a skill of software A, you need to have a some kind of proof or certificate or, mm -hmm. for that. Skill. So what I say in resume I should provide the certificate. It, it, it gives a very good impression. So if you just send certificates and along with the resume and the cover letter. Mm -hmm. How much can a student earn in Germany? As a part-time job. As a part-time job. So the Niven job minimum is 450. Minimum one can earn. Niven job is like the odd jobs. Odd jobs. That that's 450 euros without tax. And that job is very easy to get. Because the company also needs. I, I think they also get relaxation in the tax. Mm -hmm. So it's not like Normally, if you work as a regular employee, 40 hours a month, 40 hours a week, sorry, then companies also have to pay some part of the tax and you also do it. So, but in the Niven job, it's win-win for both. So that's also easy to pay. Niven job is 450? 450 euro. Okay. The maximum is the sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. It depends how much you get. But, but uh, there is a limitation of the hours one can work per week as a student. I'm not sure, but I think it's around 20, 20 hours. My next question is, how important is health insurance? That's very important. Health insurance, one has to have health insurance because it's about your health. And if you, unfortunately, if you end up some illness or some accident, any kind of a thing, you will have to pay a lot of money in the hospital so it's like everyone has to have all the insurance. Point two is the government states in a visa regulation, in visa rules that you need to have health insurance. So okay. when you go for a visa interview or visa extension, you have to show the health insurance. That is the most important. Mm -hmm. So nobody can escape it. Mm -hmm. The next question is, is it possible to get a job in Germany without speaking German? Is a major scope? It's difficult in case of Germany to get a job without speaking Germany, but there there are exceptions, which is in particularly it's in computer analysis. Otherwise, it's quite difficult okay. to get a job. To be honest, with you. so only IT sector you can. Yeah, IT. Because in university, if you're working mm -hmm. as a research scholar, you don't need to have German skills because there in university most of the communications happen in English. So as a researcher, if you're working in university, that's completely fine. How to apply for this job, this type of job? So... Is it long process or...? Now the process is quite simple. Mm -hmm. So as a general, I will say, because that depends on which kind of profile you have in the past, what kind of degree you have. So like as a civil engineer, you can apply for the jobs of civil engineer. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Generally, there are some job sites which are very popular here, like Indeed, uh, 
um, Blasto, LinkedIn, so uh, Stepstone, so these kind of websites you can you look into it and if the job comes, um, they give you email address where you can mail them as I said before you will receive mail cover letter and the certificates degrees and all and that just mail it and wait for the reply so normally uh, let's say one week to two three months you will get the reply in between and um, when you get reply in my experience they, they generally like to call directly and that would be HR short kind of interview yes, they won't ask you much on the thing okay what you did and all this and then they might uh, call you again or mail you that okay you can come to us uh, in this state uh, for a, a face-to-face interview and when you go for an interview they will give you okay. except uh, internet or email mm-hmm. any other type of possibilities to apply job? So, if you are in Germany, then you can go to job center here, which is run by uh, the government itself. If you have, if you are, if you are already in Germany, so you can go to the job center, then you can um, submit your resume and cover letter and degrees and also if they have some job opportunities similar to what your profile match they can inform you so that's also a thing but the and uh, which is again to work yeah again to work and to work for a while and uh, um, there are also some consultancies here in germany so you can also go into consultancy and submit your documents and tell them what you are looking for they can also give you a call when some jobs comes in. but i will say it's better to apply to these websites mm-hmm. and also there are many if you uh, look into it there are many. I just mentioned some and that would be good because then you can see what they are asking and what your job profile is and what is your salary expectation and all this so that's that's a good thing mm-hmm. to do in my opinion yeah. so there's one important tip from my side which is like if you are a master student or if you are studying here then I will strongly recommend to do internship or master thesis in company itself. And then in most of the cases, the company prolong your contract and you don't need to go through this whole process and you can end up job right away with the, uh, once you are uh, done with the study. So that is very important. So I always look for um, internship or, or, or master thesis doing in company. Second tip is that okay, if you don't have German skill, you can start with uh, any odd jobs. That's okay in restaurant, factories. But try to learn German during that work also. So interact with the Germans as much as possible. That's very important. And also you can take uh, German language classes and try to learn till B1. And if you think you can speak like you can speak in interview then start applying right away for a student job in the companies also so we are in germany it's also very common to get a, a student job of respective field if you're working in a company as a student job you will, you will have a strong chances of getting a full-time contract there these two tips uh, I, i'd like to give and and uh, lastly German language is very important in German. So, if you have a German skill, at the end of the day, you will get a job. So, you don't need to bother about this kind of thing that, okay, if I learn German, if I don't get a job, then what is the use of No. I will suggest, and I've seen almost all the people getting a job. So, if you learn German, you will get a job. So, you can learn back in India, you can learn here, but anyway, along the journey, you have to learn. Yeah. Yeah. So German language, if you have, so it's easy to get job in German. Indeed, yeah, it's German. German, Germany is for you German. know German, so German language is very paramount. Yeah, thank you so much. Guys. Yeah. we got lots of uh, ideas, and I think it will help you to get a job in Germany. And thank you so much, Paya. Thank you for having me. Bye. See you next video.